This is question number 12 of today's exam paper. Uh, combined mass paper 1, hmm, pure mass part. So, if you look at the question number 12, uh, consists of two parts, part A and part B. Part A is uh, combinations, part B is uh, series. If you take part A, uh, there are six mangoes and four orange. Right? There are, uh, all together there are, if you take, uh, there are ten fruits, hmm? six mangoes and four orange. Now you have to distribute these uh, fruits among eight students. So that each student receives at least one foot, right? Now you have to calculate the number of ways for each cases. Now there are three cases, and in each case you have to calculate number of uh, possible ways in which uh, you can distribute these uh, fruits among these eight students, right? Now you have uh, six mangoes, you can take six mangoes as like this, uh, M, 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 six M's, right? Four orange you can take O, 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 right? So you have to consider this orange uh, similar, similar orange and mangoes are also similar. Otherwise this sum is very complicated, right? So if you uh, consider like that, then uh, if you take first part, in the first part they mention six students get one foot each and out of the remaining two students one gets two mangoes and other get two orange, right? That means if you take uh, two mangoes, uh, so you have to, somehow you have to set eight, eight parcels, right? Uh, so you can take uh, one parcel consists of two mangoes, right? Other parcel consists of two orange, right? Now there are eight students, for eight students there should be eight parcels. So remaining four mangoes, remaining four mangoes forms four parcels, remaining another two orange forms another two parcels. Now you have all together, there are eight parcels, right? First one consists of two mangoes, second one consists of two orange. Uh, in another six parcels, each consists of single fruit, right, like this. Let's see how you can distribute these parcels among these eight students, right? First thing, um, out of these students, first you have to select uh, students who can have two mangoes. So you can select it in eight C1 ways, that means eight ways. Mm -hmm. So you select a student and uh, who can have two mangoes. Then you select students who can have two orange. So now you have selected already one, you have to select another one out of seven students in seven ways, right? Then uh, you have four mangoes. Right, these four mangoes you have to select four students. Now remaining students, uh, six students. Out of six students, you have to select four students, and you you can distribute these uh, four mangoes among them. Then you select yes another two students. Those two students. You select two students, two, and 
so we can have one orange mixture. So this is the total number of ways in which uh, these uh, fruits can be distributed among eight students under part one. So this is equal to eight into seven into six factorial divided by four factorial to factorial into one. Right? This equals uh, four five six into three fifty six into fifty. So this equals to uh, 15 into 6, 9, 15, 15, 15, 15 840 ways, right? Answers for the first one is 840 ways. If you take second one, for the second part, seven students get one foot each, and other student gets three mangoes, right? So one parcel is three mangoes, right? This one parcel. Then there are another five, another uh, three mangoes. So you can set three passes and another four mangoes selects uh, eight parcels like this, right? This single parcel, this three single block, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Hmm? So, there are eight parcels, you have to uh, distribute among eight students. Now, first you have to select uh, students, so that uh, when you select a student, you can have only, you can have three mangoes. So, you can select a student in 81 ways. Thereafter, you have three mangoes. There are another seven. Out of seven, you select three, three students who can have one mango each. Then there, there are another four students. Those four students you can select in four C four ways, that is in a single one way, right? Another four mangoes you can distribute among three another four students, right? This is the total number of ways, so this equals uh, 8C1 8 into 7 C3 factorial 7 into 4 factorial 3 factorial right? 4 factorial 3 factorial uh, now, uh, this equals 2 into 5 into 6 into 7, this equals 2, 18, 86, 56, So you can select uh, three mangoes, all other gets only one fruit. Seven students get uh, one fruit each, and the other students get three mangoes. So you can select uh, HC1, so C mango, then seven C3 into four C4. So five, 560 ways, right? So the answer for the second part is 
560 ways. Great. Then if you take third part, you take third part, say one student gets one put each and other student gets three puts again. Now somewhat complicated third part because three puts gets one, one can have three puts but uh, three puts can have in different ways. What are the ways of selecting different puts? So you can take uh, A, so you can set in three categories, that is uh, two mangoes and three mangoes, three orange, two mangoes, one orange, right? two orange and one mango, in four ways. Now can you find, uh, is there any other way? Hmm? All three cannot be different, right? Because you have only two types, right? The three mangoes can select, then, what, then you have, if three mangoes select, what is the other bundle? Hmm? Other bundle, there are another three M's. Hmm? Three M's, right? and four O's, right? For this one, one O, another five M's, six M's, right? Like this. That is how you form parcels. There are eight strings, you have to set parcels like this. M, then this single parcel, then there are another uh, four M's and four O's, three O's. Then for this one, another, there are another two O's and five M's. Like that. So if you take this uh, under each of these cases, right, so you can uh, take number of ways, under this case three M's can be selected in uh, three M's, that will be three mangoes, so you can select the students to uh, you can choose uh, students to uh, students who can have three mangoes that is in HC one way. Then three M you can select another seven students. You select three students to who can have uh, a mango one mango uh, mango for each student. Then there are another four students, those four students can be selected in 4C4 ways, right? The next one, Then HC1 into 7C1 into, then there are another 6Ms, for 6M is 5, 6, C6, right? The next one, fourth one, the third one is uh, this one block. Two mangoes and one orange. For that, for that parcel, for that parcel, you can select the students in HC one ways. There are four mangoes. For those four mangoes, you can select four students out of seven students. Thereafter, remaining three students is three C three. 
Then for the last What's that? So uh, AC1 into the OOM, there's a single block, In, you can select the one from AC1 ways, two O's you can select 7C2 ways, for balance, five students, five mangoes distributed in 5C5 ways, in only one way that is, right? Like that. Now you can this value, values you can simplify. This equals 8 into 7 factorial 7 over 4 factorial 3 factorial into 1. So this equals equals uh, 5 into 6, 7 6, 35 so 8 into 35 so this equals 8 into 7 equals 56 so this equals 8 into factorial 7 over 4 factorial 3 factorial that is into 8 into 35 again 8 into 35 again mm. so this equals 8 into 7 factorial 2 factorial 5 factorial into 1 so this equals 6 into 7 this is 3 21 8 into 21 so this equals uh, 70 into 8 equals And then sixty fifty six and hundred and sixty eight. So all together this equals Total number of ways is 784 ways. 784 ways you can select uh, 0. Seven hundred eighty-four ways. Now let's see part B of this sum. Part B, so CD sum, 
So U R is given as 4 into 2 R plus 7 over 2 R plus 1, 2 R plus 3, 2 R plus 5. So if R is given as if R equal A over 2R plus 1 plus B over 2R plus K. This is a R. So here we find A and B so that U R equals F R minus F R minus 1. Right? Then that means U R equals F R minus F R minus F R plus one. F R minus F R plus one. Right? So that you have find here. So if you substitute these things, uh, two R plus seven over two R plus one, two R plus three. 2R plus 5 equals, what is FR? A over 2R plus 1 plus B over 2R plus 3 minus A over 2R plus 3 minus B over 2R plus 5. Now this equals a over 2R plus 1 plus B minus A over 2R plus 3 minus B over 2R plus 1. Now this equals A times 2R plus 3 2R plus 5 plus B minus A times 2R plus 1, 2R plus 5 minus B times 2R plus 1, 2R plus 5. The whole thing divided by 2R plus 1, 2R plus 5. Then uh, canceling the uh, denominators, you have 4 into 2R plus 7 equals A into 2R plus 3, 2R plus 5 plus B minus A times 2R plus 1, 2R plus 5 minus B times 2R plus 1, 2R plus 5. Like that. Now if you uh, If you substitute values for this, hmm? this, is, uh, this is two, this is an identity. Now you can substitute values for different values, thereby you can find this constant, capital A, capital B, and capital C, capital uh, A and capital B, right? You just put, uh, you can put uh, 2R equals, minus 1. So you can find value of A. If you put 2R equals minus 1, uh, second term and third term get cancelled because 2R equals minus 1, 2R plus 1 equals 0. The only, then you can find value of A. Then left hand side equal to uh, minus 1 plus 7 is 6. Hmm? minus 1 plus 7. Right hand side is uh, minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 3. 
minus 1 plus 5, right? So this equals um, 24 equals A into 2 into 4, right? 2 into 4. Then equals 3. So A equals 3. Value of A equals 3. Then if you put, uh, then put uh, 2R equals, so to find B minus A, you can put 2R equals minus 5. 2R equals minus 5. Then uh, left hand side equals 4 into if you put minus 5 is equal to 2, A equals B minus A times mm, minus 5 plus 1 minus 4, minus 5, oh, second term, how did you get minus 5? Uh, so second term is uh, 2R plus 1, 2R plus 5. Um, this term is uh, 2R plus 3, 2R plus 5. Last term is 2R plus 1, 2R plus 3. This should be 2R plus 3. 2R plus 3. This is 2R plus 3. Eh? Then uh, if you put 2R, uh, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. You can put 2R uh, equals minus 3. If you put 2R equals minus 3, in left hand side this, if you put minus 3, this becomes 4. 4 into 4 this side. So B minus A, 4, B minus A times, uh, this is minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 into minus 3 plus 5, 2, right, then 1 get cancelled, then B minus A equals minus 4, but A equals 3, A equals 3, minus 3 when it comes to this side become plus 3 then b equals minus 1 right but now we got a and b let's see put uh, 2r equals uh, minus 5 straight away you can find b again right uh, then if you put minus 5 to r 4 into, if you put 2 r equals minus 5, 2 into, 4 into 2 equals, left hand side is 4 into 2, uh, right hand side minus b times uh, minus 5 plus 1 minus 4, minus 5 plus 3 minus 2, then 4 get cancelled, 2 get cancelled and B equals minus 1 again, right? Right, let's see how, now you can write down clearly a mm. part. What is a part? FR equals A. A is 3, 3 over 2R plus 1 plus minus 1 over 2R plus 3. So this is FR. Now we got FR, therefore UR equals 
y equals f r minus f r plus 1. So you can substitute values for this. If you put uh, values for this uh, identity, you can find sigma u r put uh, when r equals 1 u1 equals f1 minus f2 when r equals 2 u2 equals f2 minus f3 when r equals t u3 equals f3 minus f4 like that you go on then when r equals n un equals like that fn minus fn plus 1 now you can get the sum, sum of the series this side you get r equals 1 to n u r equals so these terms will cancel like this then the remaining terms is fn minus fn plus 1 now you can find sigma u r equals sigma r equals 1 to n u r equals what is f1 f1 is 3 over 3 minus 1 over 5. What is Fn plus 1? 3 over 2n plus 3 minus 1 minus become plus 1 over 2 in plus 5. This is F1. This is F1. This is Fn plus 1. This is Fn plus 1. So if you subtract, you get like this. This equals 1 minus 1 pip is uh, 4 over 5 minus 3 over 2 in plus 3 plus 1 over 2 in plus 5 right then you have to find then you have to find uh, Sigma U R is okay now, right? This is the infinite sum. So infinite sum that is sigma R equals one to infinity U R is equals limit n tends to infinity four over five minus three over two n plus three plus one over two n plus five. So these terms become zero only constant terms you will get 4 or 5. This is the sum of infinite number of terms, right? Uh, infinite series. Mm -hmm. That is convergent, therefore convergent series is convergent, so therefore Converging to 4 over 5, right? Hence, find the value of real constant k such that sigma uh, r equals 1 to n u r plus k u r plus 1 equals 1. Sigma r equals 1 to infinity u r plus k u r plus 1 equals 1. 
So this equals R equals 1 to infinity UR plus you can take it out. This equals sigma R equals 1 to infinity U K plus 1. Right? Equals 1. So if you look at this part, so you have to find value of k. When you find the value of k here, hmm, this is very simple. Uh, now if you take, uh, so you know this value, this value is actually 4 over 5, right? k times, if you take this one you can write sigma r equals 1 to infinity okay. u r plus 1 a u r minus u 1 you can write like equals 1 because this one term is missing if you take uh, because this, this index start from 2 to infinity right so it is uh, So you can put like that, then this equals 4 or 5. What is u1? u1 is, uh, so you need to calculate the u1 from this. Uh, what is the r term? In this, uh, r, u1, hmm? what is u1? u1 is 4 into, Going to you can you have substitute in this so you just substitute r equals one here then four into then four into nine over uh, t into five into seven so this is u one so equals one so k k times four over five minus so this equals uh, k. Uh, you can take five out. This equals zero thirty-five. Equals one minus four four five. So this equals k k or k times twenty eight minus twelve over thirty five equals one bit. So one bit cancel seven. So this equals k equals one over sixteen. K equals seven over sixteen. Right. So this is the complete answer for question number twelve.